Good evening. Good evening, Emerita. How are you? I'm fine. You? Fine. Are you ready for action? Yes. Yes. Actually, <clears throat> uh, I thought the other people are going to be here, but I was wrong. <laughs> okay. But all right, let's begin. Good evening, Emerita. Today is uh, June the 1st, and this is uh, class three. We're going to be working on Wood to Mind. Okay. Wood to Mind. Today is Wednesday, and uh, we get to class three. Today, we're going to be working on requests using Wood to Mind and other models. So we're going to have a reading neighbor versus neighbor. The objectives continue to be to make requests using phrasal verbs and to respond using will. Okay. This is the first thing that we're going to be working on. Okay. So I'm going to start with my Okay, let me change color. Okay, let's see. So the first thing that we have to think about is what's a request? Emerita, what do you think is a request? What's a request? Do you know? Don't worry if you maybe that that you ask question. Uh -huh. Yeah. Request literally means petition. Petition. What is a petition? What's a request? When um, you need a favor from someone, you need a favor and you ask the person to help you, okay? That, would, that is a request. If you need help and someone can give you some support and you ask the person for help, that is request, okay? So you say, can you help me please? Normal requests are Can you open the door for me, please? Will you do me a favor, please? Could you send me the document, please?
Okay. Now, the only thing is the last two, could you send me the document, please? And would you give me a hand with this, please? Our format. These are format. Could you send me the document, please? Would you give me a hand with this, please? That is formal. Can you open the door for me, please? That is more, I mean, you when you talk to someone more familiarly, right? Will you do me a favor, please? Okay, but could you and would you are more formal, okay? Let's see, let's go back to the presentation. In number one, would you mind? The purpose is to make requests and to respond to them. Would you mind? Listen to the requests people make of their neighbors. Have you ever made a, a similar request? Has anyone ever asked you to do these things? Okay. Who would like to read the, the first request? Ceci, would you like to read the first request? Can uh, I read it? Sure, please go ahead. Uh, oh, sorry, my microphone was... Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? I like to make sure I know that hum. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Imagine what a request. Okay, Ceci, can you read the second, please? Um, okay, the second is B. The second is this one. Uh, can you turn the stereo off, please? The words are really thin, so the sound goes through to my apartment. Would mm -hmm. you like, would you mind closing? Ah, I said, that's another one. Uh huh. Yeah, if you want to read it, read it. It's okay. Okay. Would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it looks? Excellent. Thank you. Somebody else would like to read uh, the next one? Oh, yes. we don't want any strangers to enter the building. Uh huh. Yes, I heard a little voice somewhere there. Who would like to read the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, please go ahead, Emerita. We don't, we don't want any strength. Uh, would you like, please, tell your guest to use the visitor? parking space. A lot of cars have been using my space recently. Recently, uh -huh. recently. Would you mind not putting your garbage in front of your door? It's not very pleasant to see it in the hall hallway. In the hallway. Mm -hmm. hey. So, <laughs> check the first one. The first one is kind of funny. Could you please let me know when you have a party? Uh, I'd like to make sure I'm not at home. <laughs> Aha. What do you think the person means? What's the meaning of that? Does the person like uh, your party? Or no. do Person doesn't like your party. The person doesn't like the the sound. That's oh, right. Oh. Noise, right? Doesn't want to be tortured mm -hmm. by your music and the noise from the party. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the other request could be: Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? Could you please invite me? Okay, <laughs> want to be in the party, but no, this is, I'd like to make sure I'm not at home. I go somewhere else because of the noise problem. Okay, the other one. Can you turn the stereo off, please? The walls are really thin. Usually apartments have only 
have the neighbor's wall is my wall. So it's only one wall dividing the two apart. It's the same, it's the same with the houses in my neighborhood. Uh -huh. And so the noise goes to the next. Uh, yes. So isn't it true that you can hear everything that happens in the, I mean, uh, next door? Well, not everything, but I mean, if you're talking about music and television, right? You can hear it. Sometimes you want to take a nap, but you can't because the neighbor is listening to music or watching TV. Or sometimes drilling. Okay, a lot of noise because they are working and then it's impossible, okay? Let's see. What about the other one? It says, would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it locks? We don't want any strangers to enter the building, particularly now that the areas are private. Has anyone ever told you that? Have you ever heard that before? No. No? In my neighborhood, yes. My neighbors have told me, hey, would you please make sure to close the door and uh, lock it so that no strangers come in? Say, sure, no problem. Okay, or the next one. Would you please tell your guests to use the visitor parking spaces? Well, in my case, we don't have visitor parking spaces and we don't even have assigned parking spaces. So people park wherever they can in the street. So a lot of cars have been using my space recently. I cannot say that. Can you say that? I know no. in a big city. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, right. Okay, Eugenia, can you say that? No, no, I, I it's the same like you because uh, in my neighborhood there is no parking spaces uh, assigned for nobody, just uh, in the street. <laughs> exactly. So I leave my car in my at my sister's. She has a garage, so I leave it there. Because in the street, uh -uh. one night and the next night is gone. <laughs> so definitely not. All right, and the last one, would you mind not putting your garbage in front of your door? It's not very pleasant to see it in the hallway. Has ever has anyone ever made that request to you? I think that these things happen in apartments because all the doors are this, uh, next to or in front, and you can see the other the neighbor's door. Yeah, it's true. In buildings, right? Have yes. In buildings. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, excellent. Now let's move. Let's move to the next one. Okay, we're going to have the first exercise that you're going to be working on. You're going to be transforming uh, the imperative requests into requests with models of the example. These are imperative requests. And these are a uh, request with models. You see, could you, could you, can you, would you, could you, etc. So all you're going to do is please pick up the toys. Could you please pick up the toys? Please turn off the light. Could you please turn off the light? Okay, that's what you're going to be doing, only that. I don't do any more because I would be doing the whole exercise. All right, so let's go to the groups and let's do it. Uh, How many times will we, we practice? 
This one, surely you do it in five minutes. Five. Yeah, five minutes. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to make the groups. So first I'm going to stop sharing. Well, I stop sharing. Okay. Let me see. No. I'm going to open the, the options for sharing. So you may share screen. Let me see, since right now we are, how many people are we right now? Let's see, 16. We're 16. Okay. I'm going to make four groups. Okay. Uh, the information okay. is in the chat. This is page five. Okay, the groups are opening. Okay. ¿Quién puede compartir, mucha? Voy a compartir. Thank you. La ven. Yes. Sí, ya. Okay. Okay. Um, the teacher give us uh, the two the two first answer. Can you try the the number three? Number three. Ah. Mm -hmm. Bye. Okay. Yo Hello. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you please call call up your brother? Yes. Uh -huh. Could you please put, put away the grocery? Uh -huh. Could you uh, please turn down the music? Number five. Uh -huh. Number six, Maria. Um... Can you please put on the put on the, the face mask? mask. Uh -huh. Would you please uh, clean up the house? Uh -huh. And another one. Will you please drop off the laundry? Number eight, hang up the uh, jacket. Will you please hang up the jacket? Okay. The nine is, could you please put on the pajamas? Yes. 
in the next is will you please take out the trash yeah the Will you please take out the trash? Okay, we finish. Let me check the last group and then we go back to the main. Okay, teacher. Will you please hang up the jacket? Will you please hang up the jacket? Ah, it's, it's like it is. Uh, could you please put on the pajama pajamas? Uh, could you please hang up the jacket? Ah, yes, sorry. Could you That's please take up the toys? Could you please turn off the light? Can you please call up your brother? Would you please put away the groceries? Could you please turn down the music? Can you please put on the face mask? Would you please would you please clean up the house? Would you please uh, drop off the laundry? Will you please hang up the jacket? Could you please put on the pajamas? Would you please take off, take out the trash? Could you please pick up the toys? Could you please turn on, turn off the light? Can you please call up your brother? Would you please put away the groceries? Could you please turn down the music? Can you please put on the face mask? Face mask. Would you please clean up the, the house? Would you please drop off the laundry? Would you please hang up the jacket? Could you please put, put the pajamas? Sería put, put, on, put, put, on, on. put on the, the payamas. Oh, se me quedó. Uh -huh. Put on the payamas. Would you please take out the trash? Could you please pick trash. up the toys? Trash, trash, right? Trash, trash, Mario. Oh, uh -huh. yes, yes. Excellent. Very good. Now, let's go back to the main group. Okay. 11 have come out of the groups, 12, 12 people, okay? We're 16, we're missing only four. Okay. Let's continue. <clears throat> Make requests 
with the following. Put to mind, okay? Uh, we have, these are the traditional requests. Uh, let's complete them and then we make, we transform them to this. Okay, uh-huh. Who would like to do number one? Um, could you please clean up the house? Mm -hmm. Would you mind clean up the house? Will you say the house, right? Or the mess? No, the mess. Mm -hmm. In this case. Uh, could you please clean up the mess? Okay. I want to make it bigger. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. What about number two? How can we do okay. number two? Can you please hang up your coat? Okay. Can you please hang up your coat? Excellent. Will you? Will you, pick, you up? pick up the garbage, please? Uh -huh. Or the toys. But there are no toys, right? Only garbage. There is no toys in the world. Exactly. So, garbage. Will you please pick up the garbage? Or will you pick up the garbage, please? What about number four? Could you please put away the groceries? Excellent. Okay, now number five. How do we do number five? Can you please take out the garbage? Take out the garbage. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Six. Can mm. you please throw out the garbage? Would you please throw out the garbage? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Could you please throw out the, your laptop? Okay, your laptop. Perfect. And the last one? Would you throw mm -hmm. out the, the microwave? microwave. The microwave. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So now we have this. Okay, let's see what we're going to do in the next step. Okay, how can we transform this to what to mind? And what's the meaning of would you mind? Te importaría. Echo, yeah, te importaría. O te molestaría. Right? Okay, so would you mind? And then what form of the verb do we have? Verb in ing. The verb in ing. So if we have the verb in ing, how do we do the first one? Would you mind opening the door for me, please? Wow, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Would you mind opening, opening. the door for me? Please, would you mind opening the door for me, please? Okay, and um, the person says, no, not at all. No, not at all. No, not at all. What's the meaning, no, not at all? I will open the door, okay? Uh, no, means, 
eh, te molestaría, ¿no? Para nada. Not at all. Normalmente means para nada, right? No, not at all. So it means, which te molestaría abrirme la puerta? No, para nada. So no, not at all, right? No, not at all. No, not at all. So means I will open the door. What happens if the person says, would you mind opening the door for me, please? You say, eh, as a matter of fact, I do. Or as a matter of fact, I would. That's, that means I won't open the door, right? Yes, so I'm going to put it here. As a matter of fact, I would. So this means I will not open the door, okay? What about the second? How do we do the second? Could you mind doing me a favor, please? Excellent, wonderful, very good. Would you mind doing me a favor, please? But even though here is without please, would you mind doing me a favor? And the person says, no, not at all. What, what do you need? No, not at all. What do you need? Okay, what about the next one, number four? Would you send, would you send, sending me the document, please? Uh, one word is missing, would you? Would you mind sending? Would you mind sending? Sending me the document, please. Excellent, perfect. Would you mind sending me the document? You can say, please. Normally, it's not obligatory to say, please, in this one. Would you mind sending me the document? It's OK. So what about the last one? Would you mind giving me a hand with this, please? Excellent. Would you mind giving me a hand with this, please? So I'm going to select. Okay. Excellent. Now let's go to the presentation. How can we transform these ones? Volunteers to transform number one. Would you mind cleaning the mess? Clean. Uh -huh. Would you mind cleaning the mess? Okay, excellent. What about two? Who'd like to do number two? Will you mind hanging up your coat, please? Okay, perfect, excellent. What about number three? Would you mind picking up the garbage, please? Okay, would you mind picking up the garbage, please? Now, Emerita number four, please. Could you please put away the groceries? No, would you mind? Uh -huh. Now, transform it to would you mind, Emerita. Emerita, can you transform me to would you mind, please? Would you mind put away the groceries? 
mucho putting mucho. away putting would you mind putting away the groceries and the one before was would you mind picking up the garbage would you mind picking up the garbage please okay thank you what about somebody else for number six Would you mind throwing out the garbage, please? Would you mind throwing out the garbage, please? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Seven. Would you mind tur turning off your laptop, please? Excellent. Very good. Now the last one. Would you mind turning on the micro microwave, please? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Now, let's continue. Okay, we have a request with model. Can you turn the stereo off? Would you mind turning the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? Negative. Would you mind not? Verb in ing. Would you mind not putting? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? Okay. What other requests can we make? Around the house, what requests? Can we make using would you mind? Would you mind washing the dishes, please? Would you mind washing the dishes, please? Perfect. And uh -huh. somebody else? Would you mind cooking the dinner? Uh -huh. Would you mind cooking dinner tonight? Uh -huh. Excellent. Another one? Would you mind playing soccer, please? Would you mind playing soccer with me, please? You say, no, not at all. Let's play. Okay, another one. Would you mind cooking the dinner tonight? Would you mind cooking dinner tonight? Okay, excellent. So, in the same symphony, okay? Right, let's continue. Let's see. I want to tell you something. Tell me, Ceci, tell me. <laughs> Would you mind uh, sending us the, the class early, early, early? Would you mind sending, sending us the class early? The next class tomorrow early. <laughs> sure, if I have it early. Because the thing is that yeah. I work, I work all day. And, because uh -huh. I work all day, and then I'm trying to okay. do my best to finish the sooner I can. But I'm going to stay up tonight. I'm going to stay until late tonight, and I'm going to finish it and send it to you. Okay. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Let's see. Uh, Match the requests with the appropriate responses. Then compare with a partner, okay? So what we're going to do is you're going to discuss this in the groups with your partners, okay? So let's, let's do it. Let's go to the groups so you can, number one, match. Number two, discuss, okay? What are you going to discuss? Uh, we says, the appropriate responses, okay? How would you answer? So match the questions and the answers. Let's see, here we go. The groups are opening. This is page, this is 11. Okay. 
apropiada. <laughs> the appropriate response. I'm gonna share the screen. I have the presentation on my computer, so I'm gonna share it. Okay, thank so you. we can what is the best response or the best answer for all this question with these answers and matching. Okay, okay. I think the one is good with the, let me see. Uh, with the C response. <laughs> Sí, if, you want to, if, you, if you want to say you're not gonna lend twenty dollars, it mm -hmm. it is. But what if you want to? It's maybe the F. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. No, I I think this uh, the C answer because they say I don't have any cash. Uh -huh. Yeah. So is the one saying that? can do it because don't have any cash. And if you see all the questions. What's next? Second one. Second one question. Little B. Little B. Is for, for what question? Little B is for what question? Le, number three, can you help me move to my new house? I guess it's letter F. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. And number four is letter B. Sorry, I didn't realize the seat was taken. Number six. Would you mind not talking so loudly? Uh, it's letter A. We are sorry. We'll talk more quietly. Number five is letter uh, D. I'm sorry. I'll do it. I'll do it right away. And literal B. They work take turn making you request and to give you all responses. We have to give our responses. Is the one. One to C, uh, two, A, three, F, four, B, five, D, six, A. Okay. Uh, but, but we have to, to work in the literal B. Pay works, they terms making the request in part A. Give you own response. So, would you lend me $20? I'm sorry, I don't have. 
Oh, sí. Yes. Sorry, I had no money or our response. Can you get me a sandwich? Okay. What kind of sandwich do you want? <laughs> we have to create a response. Would you mind not using the sitting here? Okay. I I will search another um sheet. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. What do we have for the first one? We have the C. <laughs> okay, number one, you say, could you lend me $20? Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. I don't have any cash. No money, okay. What about number two? In our group, we decide number two, the F, uh, sir, no problem. I'd be glad to. Okay. No, it, I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. All right, we can, it's okay, no problem. We're going to take the first one, but Letter e, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean that it's not correct. It's correct. Now, what about number three? For number three, we, we put the e, exactly. e answer. Can uh, you help me move the, can you help me move the, to my new house? So I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Exactly. And what about number four? Would you mind not sitting here? Would you mind not sitting here? Is uh, the B answer. Sorry, I didn't realize the seat was taken. Uh -huh. I didn't realize the seat was taken. Uh -huh. realize. I didn't realize. I didn't realize the seat was taken. Okay, excellent. So, very good. What about five? Could you move your car from my space? Letter D. I'm sorry. I'll do it right away. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I'll do it right away. Okay. Excellent. What about number six? Would you mind not yeah. talking so loudly? Literal A. a. Literal A. Uh huh. Letter A, right? So. Sorry, we'll talk more loud. Okay. Floor, please. How uh, we'll talk more soft, more quietly. Okay. Let's see. Um, Ceci, could you lend me $20? I'm sorry. I don't have any cash. Okay. Uh, 
Miguel, eh, can you get me a sandwich? Can you get me a sandwich? Uh, sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, Lisette, can you help me move to my new house? I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Okay, no problem. It's okay. Um, Gabby, would you mind not sitting here? Um, sorry, I didn't realize this city was taken. Okay, it was taken. Very good, thank you. Uh, Eugenia, could you move your car from my space? I'm sorry, I do it right away. Okay, very good. Let's see. Emerita, would you mind not talking so loudly? Well, sorry, we'll talk more quickly. More quietly, quiet, quietly. Quietly. More quietly. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay, how many of you, my friends, have good neighbors? Do you have good neighbors? So, so. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Me, me not. Yes. You don't. Okay. I don't know my neighbors. <laughs> I don't know your neighbors. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, my neighbors are good. My neighbors are good. Uh, yeah, definitely, yes. They are quiet and considerate. All right. Let's see. Number three, neighbor versus neighbor. <laughs> Five. <laughs> neighbors versus neighbor. Okay. And uh, I don't ask, I don't ask Angelica because she says, do you know your neighbors? And she says, I don't know my neighbors. Or was it Eugenia? Okay. <laughs> um, some of them, you know, not all my neighbors, but some. I know some. Yes, yes, my, one of my neighbors is my mom, so I know them. <laughs> Yeah, and she knows you very well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So Angelica, no, right? And doesn't know anybody there. Angelica, do you know your neighbors? No, I don't. You don't, right? You don't know anybody there. Okay. Let's see. So, uh, Cecilia. Are your neighbors good? Are they good to you? Yes, they are good for me. Mm -hmm. They are friendly and a good person. Okay, they she, are friendly. Uh, friendly. Yeah, okay. And it's because some neighbors you say good morning and they growl at you. Good morning, neighbor. And you say, ah, I understand. In dog, in dog language, that is good morning. <laughs> so in dog language, that's good morning. Okay. What about number three? Uh, let me see. Miguel, have you ever had problems with your neighbors? No, no, never. No, never. No, I ne never have a problem with them. Never had problems, okay. So if you didn't have problems, you didn't need to solve them, right? Okay. Yes, of course. So in general, do you think they are good neighbors? And uh, uh, I don't have a, any complain uh, complain with them so i i don't i think that they are not good and they are not they are bad it's <laughs> okay neutral okay i have a lot neutral, of people yeah. about my neighbors but i uh, say mm -hmm. 
Capital Masail. You don't have to mind that. Ah, okay. I don't like to do, to have problems with them. Okay. I let it be. <laughs> if your parents live next to you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Teacher, my neighbors uh, throw out the garbage in the streets. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, don't worry. I used to have neighbors that put their garbage in front of my door. <laughs> <laughs> but not anymore. No. The neighbors I have are good. All right. We're going to be reading this situation. I'm going to mark it as this. I'm going to divide it into two parts. Uh, I'm going to divide it as here. Okay, let me see. I'm going to put it here and uh, here. So someone is going to read this and another person this. Okay. This is the situation. It says, read the situations in the list below. What would you do in each situation? Who wants to read this, this section? Can I? Yes, please. Go ahead. Sure. Okay. The woman in the apartment upstairs plays her piano after midnight. The family across the street never deans up their yard. The garbage blows into your yard. The guy next door always parks his car in front of my of your driveway. Mm -hmm. Have things like this ever happened happen to you? If so, you may ask yourself, who are these people? Why are they doing these things to me? These days, many people don't know their neighbors. Sometimes we share a friendly wave or say hello, but a lot of people don't even know their neighbors' names. When you don't know someone, it's easy to build up, build, build up frustration. frustration and resentment. You think maybe they like to annoy me or maybe they do it deliberately. Deliberately. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you very much. Who would like to read the next part? Me, teacher. Uh -huh. yeah. Sure. Believe it or not, your neighbors don't mean to in case you think they don't even know that they're getting off. You're nervous. So before you start, make sure to fix the problem. You all discuss it with them first. When you approach your neighbors, you should talk to them in a nice manner. Compliment the children, do something else to make them feel good. Then explain the situation. And if you can think of a simple solution, suggest it. If talking doesn't work, ask another person to be there. This person can listen to both sides of the story can help you and your neighbor who face the situation. Finally, sometimes it's a good idea to avoid the problem, depending on the issue. It might be best to just stay out of your neighbor's way. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. <clears throat> okay, now, do you, do you have these situations with your neighbor? Someone who plays a musical instrument very loudly? No instrument, but the music is too loud. Okay. I can hear the music for my neighbor at three houses. <laughs> okay, yeah. Very loud. It's <laughs> coming. <laughs> That's right. Okay, that's right. And what about the people who are not clean and then they throw garbage onto your driveway? Do you have this problem? Mm 
not the trash, but one of my neighbors have a dog. They have let out the dog to do mm -hmm. things and let it there. Yes. So, so yeah, that's right. It's really like they, you find uh, dog poop everywhere. Okay. Yeah. And you're walking and landmine. Boom, landmine. You step on it and oh, you say hi. Have to be looking in the way because. Uh, yes, how you do that? Yes, definitely. Okay. So then, uh, how about someone who parks their car in front of your house? You need to go out, but you can't. Do you have a neighbor like that? Yes, I have. It's very annoying. Really annoying, right? They're definitely, yes. And what have you done? Mm, in my case, I have to tell them that moves her car away because I don't, I can't uh, entrar. ¿Cómo se dice entrar? Get into, I can't get into my house. Yes, oh I can get into my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a problem. All right, my dear ones, we're going to be stopping here. Um, in your in your WhatsApp, I place a document for you to practice. Would you mind? Okay, would you mind? Maybe you can see the document and you can take some time to take a look at it, all right? So today we're going to stop here and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Good night, my friend. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. 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 B